Okay, extrinsic semiconductor. One way to increase conductivities of a semiconductor is by duping. Duping. Now, what is duping? Duping means adding impurity atoms, any other atoms. Okay, for silicons, if you add any atom which is not silicon, is considered impurity. Yeah? Anything you add into this uh, semiconductor is called impurity. Okay, so uh, adding impurity atoms to an intrinsic crystal semiconductor eh? to alter auto means to change its electrical conductivity so you, you add anything inside any other atoms are uh, inside to change the conductivity and that's called duping okay duping eh? and uh, a duped semiconductor is called an extrinsic semiconductor after you add the impurity inside eh? then uh, that semiconductor is called extrinsic semiconductor so intrinsic semiconductor is a pure semiconductor. But if you add impurity inside, then it becomes impure semiconductor and that's called extrinsic semiconductor. So that's the difference between intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. As I told you just now, okay, there are two types of charge carrier in a semiconductor, the free electrons and the holes. Okay, If you want to increase the conductivity, you can either increase the free electrons or you can increase the hole. Okay, either one. Okay, you increase the electrons, free electrons, or you increase the holes, uh, then you will increase the conductivity. Okay, uh, so let's see the first one, uh, increasing the free electrons. Uh. If you want to increase the number of free electrons, uh, then you must add pentavalence atoms to the molten silicon. You heat silicon until it melts, and then you add this pentavalent atoms. Now what is pentavalent atoms? Pentavalent atoms are the atoms that have five free electrons in the valence orbit. Penta means five. Penta means five. Okay, so penta means five. Five. And five means five valence electron. Okay, not five electron, five valence electron. For example, uh, one, two electrons, and then we have eight electrons, okay. We're talking about phosphorus. Uh, this is phosphorus, okay. And then uh, the outermost shell it has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, then this is pentavalence atoms. Atoms has five valence electrons. Uh. So if you add this uh, pentavalence atoms into a semiconductor, usually it's silicon or germanium. Uh, okay. Then you can increase the number of free electrons. Why? I will explain to you later. Okay. How this work? Uh, examples of pentavalence atoms is uh, like antimonies or phosphorus. Uh. Okay. Now, these materials it will donate an extra electrons to the silicon crystal, uh, and they are often referred to a donor impurities. Okay. So these penta electrons, it has uh, extra electrons. I will explain to you later why it has extra electrons. Uh. So it has extra electrons and. Uh, so therefore, it's called a donor impurity because it donates free electrons to the silicons. Eh? So it's called a donor. Okay, donor. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now you see uh, we have uh, silicons here. Okay, so this is the impurities. Eh? The phosphorus. Now phosphorus has five valence electrons. Okay, so five valence electrons, but it can only form four. This uh, valent, uh, sorry, four covalent bond because. There are silicon here, okay, silicon here, and silicons can only form four covalent bonds. Eh? So this fo phosphorus, when is it is doped inside uh, this uh, silicons, okay, it can form four covalent bonds with the silicons, but it has five electrons, okay. If we share four pairs of electrons, then it will have one extra electrons, and this extra electron is not bond to any silicons. Eh? It's not bond to any atom, so these electrons is free to move. These electrons, since it's not bonds to any atoms, uh, so this electron is free to move. So a penta atom is in the center surrounded by four silicon atoms and it has one extra electron and these electrons become free electrons. So that's how we add free electrons into silicons. We add penta valence atoms. And pentavalence atoms, after they form four covalent bonds, it still have, it still has uh, one free electron. Uh. You add one atom, one phosphorus atoms, it will form one free electron. If you add one hundred phosphorus, then you have one hundred 
free electrons. If you add 1 million, then you're going to have 1 million free electrons. Huh? So that's how we increase the free electrons into a semiconductor. So uh, since only 8 electrons can fit into the valence orbits, huh? so the extra electrons uh, remains in the larger orbits here. Okay, And in other words, it becomes a free electron. Okay, as I explained to you just now, right? Okay, so each pentyl valence or donors atoms in the silicon crystal will produce one free electron. Sir. So the more impurity is added, you add more phosphorus, sir, the greater the conductivity because it has more free electrons. Sir. Okay, so in this way, a semiconductor may be lightly or heavily. Lightly means you dope very little, adds very little impurities, sir. then it's called lightly doped okay but if you add a lot of impurity a lot of phosphorus inside uh, then it's called heavily doped okay heavily doped eh? so lightly doped means add small amounts of impurity eh? heavily doped means uh, you add a lot of uh, impurities uh, a lightly doped semiconductor has high resistance why because just very little charge carrier okay so it has high resistance eh? and a heavily doped semiconductor has a low resistance okay mm. this is important to construct transistor so in when we discuss transistor then we'll discuss uh, some of the semiconductor is uh, lightly duped and some of the semiconductor is uh, heavily duped okay and i'm going to explain to you why